Hey guys, we have Chaos with another video for you guys. Just want to go over the uh, loss to the Dolphins this past Sunday. Um, I want to discuss some things that we should do. And uh, yeah, so the first thing we should do is um, I think that it's just a lot of things that we need to do in order to get this team back on track or how hyped it was and the first thing we really need to do is fire the fuck out of Young Hoku. So I mean I don't know why the fuck Anthony Lee is gonna keep him. I think it's stupid as hell. Um the guy he can't kick with the shit. Always misses in the he had, he's had four attempts in two games and he's only made one. One. If he would have made the two fucking field goals last fucking Sunday we would have fucking won by 23 to 19. But we didn't. We fucking lost 17 to 19. And now we got to go into another fucking hard ass game against the fucking Chiefs. So, like I said, one of the things we need to do is we really need to get this running game back on track. Because Melvin Gordon didn't do shit. He got a touchdown and like 9 fucking yards for like 14 attempts. Like, what the fuck is that? That's like the fucking 2015 Melvin Gordon. I don't want to see that bullshit. I want to see the fucking good Melvin Gordon, the one we saw last year. The one, you know, the one that was getting like fucking 20 plus yards almost every fucking run. Yeah, that one. I want to see that Melvin Gordon. Not the fucking shit garbage one we have now. Okay? Phillip Rivers is doing a tremendous job. Okay? Looks like Ken Allen's back on track to how he was uh, back in 2015 as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And, you know, I just think we need to capitalize on a lot of stuff, especially the uh, running the running and uh, passing games on defense. We need to get to the quarterback a lot quicker. Joey Budden did not get not even one sack against, the, um, against Jay Cutler, <clears throat> fortunately. That sucked, but we were able to get uh, two sacks from out of, that, out of the whole day. We got one from Chris McCain and um, Melvin Ingram. So, I mean, Chris McCain is possibly the biggest surprise to me. He's doing really fucking good for us. I say, man, you know what? Vosa keeps acting up. Put Chris McCain in. See what he can do. Give him a try. Of course, we all know that's not going to happen because Mr. Bose is Mr. Money in the bank over here. But either way, <clears throat> um, yeah, really, really upset with the uh, outcome of that game. If you don't believe me, you can go ahead and ask one of my best friends. But either way, um... There's a lot of things I need to change in this team, man. We need to, we really need to fix the offensive line. I mean, I was really impressed how well Kenny Wiggins and Spencer Pulley did against uh, and Dominic Kinsu and Cameron Week and all them guys. <clears throat> I, I, the the offensive line wasn't the problem this week. It was just Melvin Gordon. He didn't perform as well. Couldn't get couldn't get to the outside. Couldn't even run into the inside. So it was just all him. I mean, I, I'm not gonna say oh. The offensive line did great because it fucking didn't. You know, there was some problems in there. Especially at the um, left tackle position. I think uh, Russell Okun allowed like almost... I think he, he, was, he was allowing a lot of pressure on Rivers. But um, that's not the player I want for Rivers. or protecting Rivers. I mean, fuck, we signed him for like fucking three years worth $53 million with like $21 million guaranteed. So this man should be playing at a high level. If not, we gotta cut this motherfucker quick. Um, another thing is the offensive lineup that they have. I really there's a lot of problems to it. I feel like our three interior guys are not doing their jobs as well. I mean, especially Matt Slauson. He's just getting burned on that left guard position. I feel like we should make him make him go back to center and up. Uh, uh, we sh should get uh. Sorry, we should give Mike, uh, Michael or Mike, I forgot, whatever his fucking real name is, Michael Schofield a chance at left guard. Really good blocker, actually, and he was selected by the Broncos in the second round back in 2014 or 13. Um, so the way I would, want, I would want our lineup to be maybe this Sunday, just to try it out, would be, because we're going to have, a, we're going to, Rivers is going to be fucking pass rushed a shitload. We got D Ford. We got Justin Gilbert. I'm not Justin Gilbert. Justin Houston. We got fucking uh, that one fucking rookie, that defensive end. 
Oh my god, something Jones or I can't fucking remember his name. We got him. We got why they got in that in secondary. They got fucking. Uh, they got Philip Gaines and they have um, Marcus Peters. The secondary uh, and well, the safety position. Unfortunately, um, unfortunately, Eric Berry was injured in the first week of uh, the season, and he's out for the season with the ACL tear. Look, guys. As much as I hate the Chiefs, as much as I hate the Raiders, and as much as I hate the Broncos, and the fuck, even the Patriots, I will never wish harm to any of the players. Why? Because that's their life and that's their career. And I just, although they're still getting paid for it, even if they're injured, that's your dream. And, and these players, are they're living their dream. And when they get hurt, that's like a halt to their dream. And they lose time off of that. So, I mean, remember... Each player gets older every year, like everybody else, and their and their fucking interest, uh, the team's interest go lower and lower and lower. So <clears throat> no one should get hurt. Hopefully, Eric Bear will come back next season and be strong. But for now, he's just gonna have to sit at his house and watch the Chiefs play this season. And whoever the fuck is taking his place, I'm not sure if it's that Sorensen guy or I don't know who it is, but. Um, I think it is Sorensen. Either way, guys, this, uh, we, we really need to do better when it comes to um, uh, sticking to our objective. And, man, this is going to be a bullshit season. I can already see it. I mean, shit. We really need a fire, Young Hoku. That's the main problem right there, Young Hoku. And then another problem is Jason Brett. He he's out for a couple of weeks. He has no timetable to coming back. I got no idea what the fuck happened. There's been no like there's been no medical um, medical clearance. Like you know what I mean. Like they haven't even said what he what's wrong with him. I mean they, all they said it was his knee. They don't they haven't said oh he bruised his knee. Oh he fucking cracked his knee. He broke his knee. Fucking his legs upside down. Whatever the fuck they you know they come up, some type of shit they come up with. But, man, we're gonna have to. Man, this team's just all fucked up, guys. Another thing is, I really, really, really do not wanna see that fucking Trevor Williams guy, number 24. Yeah, I don't wanna see him play this week. I want fucking Desmond King to play, because Desmond King only played like 15 snaps, and that was fucking ridiculous. So, yeah, that's my video, and. Stay classy.